Hello everyone, this is Soumya from Quarkus team. In this short video, I will show you how to create an application using Quarkus. So let's get started. First of all, we will visit code.quarkus.io. Now with the help of this beautiful website, we will create our application. This is the package name. Let's change the artifact name to Hello Quarkus. Hello Quarkus. And I will choose Maven as the build tool. Now, among this wide variety of extensions, I will pick the first one, Rest Easy Zaxaris. Then I have to click on this Generate Your Application button. After that, I will click on Download the Zip. And I will put it in my YouTube demo folder. Now I will extract this zip. I will unzip this and then we will play with Quarkus. All right, it's ready for me. So the next step is I have to import the project in my IntelliJ. You can use any code editor of your choice. YouTube demos and Hello Quarkus. This is our project. Let's open it up. So this is the readme of the project where all the important information is provided. Moving ahead, this is the project structure. This is the pom.xml file. It contains the significant information of the project, like the dependencies that we are using, etc. I will go to the Zaxx RS resource, that is the Java class, source, main, Java, and greeting resource.java. This is the simple Java class. At this endpoint, hello, I expect to see this string, hello, rest easy. So, Let's try to run this app using the command mvn compile quarkus dev. The hot reload and live coding, these are some of my favorite feature around quarkus. The speed that it provides is really amazing. And uh, like we will change our code we will save it and on a single refresh, we will be able to see the change and that too with Java. So that's really incredible. So in just one second, you can see live coding is enabled for us. Now we'll go to localhost, ATAG and hello is our endpoint. So you can see here the uh, text, the string hello rest easy is visible here. Now let's try to make some change. Let's say hello Quarkus. And if we refresh it over here, so boom, you see the change here in just milliseconds. And this is Java. So it's behaving like those fast programming languages and that's the beauty of this feature around Quarkus. So this is really very interesting. It's this much easy to develop your first application using Quarkus. Go on and try this. I'm sure you will enjoy developing your first application using Quarkus. Thank you for watching.